Okay, first row over here on the left. Uh, your voice is a little raspy yesterday. How are you feeling health-wise? Uh, health-wise, I feel good. Um, yeah, I, I think my voice has recovered a little bit, so I'll, I'll take it. So it's not the Mania flu game? No, definitely <laughs> not. Um, also, just um, when you kissed the sky after you came out, came out of the game, I saw you, know, you tipped your hat, you kissed the crowd, and then you looked up at the sky and kissed the sky. Who was that for? Um, that was for my aunt Mabel. Um, just got a message that she had passed away earlier this morning, and um, yeah, so that game was for her. Next question. We go all the way in the back on the left. In the sixth inning, with two guys on base, Bryce Harper up to bat. What is your mindset going into that at bat, and how did you sort of? What was your approach heading into facing Harper? Um. Really just attack, um, not try to be too fine with things. Hi, Pete. Hey. <laughs> Joined by Pete. Yeah, uh, attacking, attacking him and not trying to be too cute or too fancy. Um, and really just, um, you know, that, that energy uh, going towards him. And, um, you know, I know the defense behind me is incredible. And, um, you know, we're, we can do incredible things. So i uh, just got to trust that and, um, you know, just one right after him. Okay, go ahead in the back, Mike. John, knowing the bullpen and how taxed it's been lately, how important was it to get into the eighth inning and, and be so effective? It's huge. Um, you know, these these guys have been um, doing incredible work the whole year. Um, you know, the playoffs is no different, and um, yeah, obviously they've been uh, you know throwing a lot, and um, you know, so for me, that's you know always the goal is to go deep as deep as possible, and uh, just. You know, really excited I was able to do that, and um, you know, the bullpen shut it down. Hey, we're gonna go on the left here to Laura. I saw that uh, Luis Severino and Jose Quintana both had the the five nine on their faces. What does it mean to you to kind of have that support from them, and how has the bond within this rotation grown, especially playing in October? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we're all just uh, just big kids, I think, um, and. You know, when you can have fun and, you know, support each other and just be boys, um, you know, really cool, special things can happen. And, you know, I think that's what's happened with the staff and not just the staff, but, you know, the whole team. Um, you know, there's a lot of silly things that we do, but uh, at the end of the day, it's just, um, you know, it grows us together. And, um, yeah, at the end of the day, we're just having fun and, um, you know, just trying to win ball games. Okay, we'll go to Tim. Question for both of you guys. The Mets in the history of City Field have never had any sort of clinching celebration here. What would it mean to finish it off tomorrow and have one of those? Um, be huge. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's just, we just got to win. Um, you know, that's all that, that really matters. Um, you know, if that's here, it'd be amazing. Um, but if not, then, you know, we just got to, you know, just finish the job. And Pete? Yeah. Um, I mean, it'd be it'd be fantastic to to get it done, but um, we got to stay within ourselves, focus on the task at hand, uh, pitch to pitch, out to out, inning to inning, and um, I believe if we can if we can do that, stay right there in the groove of things, and uh, don't try and do too much in in each moment. I think I think we'll be able to to get it done tomorrow. And Pete, you were seemingly uh, you know encouraging the fans to cheer there in that moment in the eighth inning and they seem to respond to you. What was your thinking there and what did you think of their response? Um, one thing, coming, playing on the road, like um, the, the one thing that we did a, a really good job of is um, kind of kind of sucking the energy out of, uh, out, of those, out of the stadiums. And I think, because like the playoffs, like no doubt, a, there's a huge energy component to it, whether the crowd's in it or not into it. And uh, it, it wasn't necessarily a perfect inning and there was kind of a lull, but it's like, listen, we're, we're still up like every pitch, every out matters. So I was just like, come on, like, it's okay. We're still in a good spot. Like, come on, like the more loud and the more supportive that, um, every, every pitch, like the more loud that, um, that we get, it's, it's a huge advantage to us. So it's keeping that energy up and, and, uh, maintaining that energy and maintaining that momentum because it, it, it's huge. Go down here to Bruce. Pete, what did it mean to you to jump start game three with that homer in the second? Um, I'm just happy I, uh, I I put a good swing on a ball. I mean, me and Aaron, like we've faced each other a lot over the years, whether it's in the big leagues or in college. So 
he knows me, I know him, and I'm just really happy I was able to um, – because I mean he's he's a great he's a great talented pitcher. I mean he's a he's a well polished guy and he's 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 a tough he's a tough AB. I'm just happy I was able to come through for for the team right there. Okay, John. Sean, Sean Carlos was in here saying that he thought you obviously been composed all year, but there was something special about your demeanor today. Anything you would pinpoint about regarding that? Um, just working on my breath. Um, you know those those moments are huge and. Um, you know, I don't need to um, up the energy, you know, by myself. So it's really just, you know, using what I have and uh, just using that moment to, um, you know, focus in and execute. And um, you know, I think uh, I've been doing a, a pretty good job at that, um, you know, the last two, two starts I've had. So uh, today was no different. And, um, yeah, it was, it was a huge moment. <laughs> I'm going to go all the way far on the left. I'll stand up so you can see me. Sean, how special was it after everything you've been through in your career to have a performance like you did tonight in a game where the stakes were as high as they were? It's huge. Um, you know, it's uh haven't had the most, um, I don't know, amazing career. But, you know, through the ups and downs and through the uh, the hardships, uh, it's what makes games like this uh, mean so much. And, um, you know, I just... You know, so proud of the the work that I've been able to do, but not just myself. Uh, you know, the whole team and um, you know everybody that I've been working with. Um, you know, I've just put so much time and effort into it, and uh, you know, have results like this is is uh, you know unbelievable, unbelievable feeling. I'm gonna go far left, Disha. For Pete, when you're hitting opposite field home runs like that, does that tell you that you're locked in at the plate? Um, I'm just. I mean, I, right now I'm just trying to get a pitch I can handle and just put a good swing on it and, and stay within myself. Um, wherever, it, wherever it goes out, um, if it does, I'm just happy it does. Uh, it's just a product of a good swing. Um, and pitch was away, so um, I'm really glad. So if I'm hitting balls the other way, I'm, uh, it's typically a, typically a good sign. And then compared to two weeks ago when you played that home game here with the standing O, and it's pretty emotional for the crowd, maybe for yourself, just how different was today, maybe monkey off your back in that way and not having all of that that pressure, perhaps? Honestly, like, this is the, like, this this was the goal, and I, like, I, I really am happy I acknowledge, but, I mean, the, the whole vision, the whole goal uh, is, like, that wasn't going to be the last game, that wasn't going to be the last game for us, so... Uh, I mean, collectively as a group, we want to stay locked in, but um, hopefully we can have a lot more baseball here. Okay. And st stay on the left in the first row, Jess. Following up, uh, Pete, on your opposite field success, fundamentally, mechanics-wise, what do you attribute that to, and how much did you focus on that late in the season? Um, it, it's more so just, um, I mean, just hitting the ball where it's pitched um, and, and hitting the ball – on the sweet spot of the bat. I mean, that's that's pretty much all I'm, I'm trying to do every single every single AB, and I'm just really happy I was able to capitalize on some opportunities. That's it's just staying within myself, staying within my approach, and, and just hitting the ball uh, right on the screws. Okay, we're gonna go to Howard right here in the second row in the middle. Uh, Pete, historically you've also had success uh, against Nola. You uh, have. Uh, I think six home runs against him career. You have seven home runs in your career hitting knuckle curves, which is his obviously primary pitch. He doesn't seem to throw it, especially in key moments against you. I wonder whether you think he stays away from it, knowing that that is a pitch you hit well. I just, can you kind of take me through the way in which that battle has played out? Um, I mean, he's got command of, uh, I mean, he's got command of all of his pitches. I, I think it's more so just the, the just the cat and mouse game like he he knows he knows who I am um I mean we've we've faced each other I mean since 2014 so uh and obviously I know who he is so he's every time every time it's just trying to like crack the code how is he trying to get me out today um how what's he trying to get ahead with so um and granny's got he's got control really pinpoint control of over of all of his pitches but yeah I was just looking for a fastball out over the plate and just uh, stay through it and and just drive the ball a big part of the field. And just really, like you don't think he was going to start you with the knuckle curve in that spot? Um, I didn't. I didn't believe so. No. Um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't think so. I think. I mean, I just wanted to uh, see a fastball out over the plate and and hit it hard. 
Thank you. Okay, straight back, Dave. Pete, what did you think of uh, Jesse Winker's shot oh. into halfway up the upper deck there? I mean, hitting a pull side pump like that in the playoffs. I mean, and I mean, yeah, he deserves to stand there like that. Like crowd just absolutely went bonkers, and um, I mean, he, I know he had that weird, messed up like play in the in the second inning where it's like, was it a hit? Was it not a hit? But uh, to capture momentum in the game, like that was that was absolutely massive. And yeah, if you're gonna hit a ball, I think however far it was, like 450 feet, then yeah, you can for sure look at it. What, what is it about his knack to, to fire you guys up? I mean, he's had a lot of plays that have been big plays, emotional plays. He's emotional on the field. I mean, Jess is, I mean, he comes with it. I mean, he plays, he plays the game with a full head of steam. Like he honestly plays, like he, he plays the game of baseball like a, like a middle linebacker. Like he's just like full intensity, like full bore all the time. And uh, he's always super high energy and, and you love that, like uh, the passion that he that he brings to the table. It's like you love to see that, and I mean, it's a pleasure sharing sharing a locker room with him because he's never a doubt that Jesse's always ready to go. Okay, we're gonna take two more quick ones. Take one here in the first row, on the left. Uh, Sean, uh, the last time you faced the Phillies in the postseason, it didn't go so so well for you. I think you mentioned uh, that you had gone to drive line in the off season after that to kind of revamp some of your uh, pitching. What does it mean to you to have this kind of success against the Phillies, um, given that history? Um, yeah, like I said before, it's you know I've had a lot of ups and I've had <laughs> way more downs uh, throughout my career, and um, you know that moment for me was um, rock bottom, pretty much, because uh, it was like that night that I emailed Drive Line. I was like, all right, something's got to change, and we got to you know fix something here. Um, and yeah, to be as low as I was there and to, you know, be here now, um, you know, just such an incredible feeling, uh, to be able to, you know, persevere through all that. And, um, yeah, I'm just super proud of myself for that. Okay. Far right here in the front row. Pete, just, uh, as someone who prides himself on coming through for the team, just how much are you enjoying this postseason and what you've been able to do so far? I mean, th this whole experience has just been uh, incredible. Uh, I mean, can't get to the postseason without reflecting back on the regular season. Like, it it's truly tremendous, like, the amount of adversity that we overcame through, uh, like, the – I mean, yeah, we were 11 games under, like, and we grinded through that, uh, got right around 500. We just can keep continuing to believe in each other. and keep continuing to uh, just trust the process. And I mean, the amount of resiliency that this team has is just truly incredible. Um, and I mean, and now in the postseason to, to be doing what we're doing as a group, it's really special. Like this is, I mean, this is really special stuff here. I mean, it's just, you can't make it up. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Okay. Thank you guys.